Okay, I don't even know how to start this vlog. I don't know why. Ah, guys, I don't know. I don't think. What are you trying to say? I don't know how to vlog anymore. Oh. I don't. But I do know how to make cookies. I am not a cookie person. You might know that about me. Not a cookie person, not, not tempted by a plate of cookies sitting in front of me at a friend's house. I'm not like, oh, I gotta eat all those cookies. Well, in the last few weeks, I am a cookie person. Well, I'm my own kind of cookie person, I guess. Um, the Toll House recipe is what I grew up with and I personally believe that is the only cookie that should exist. I just really like that recipe. And <laughs> no, I, I do like a few other kinds of cookies, like the brown crinkle ones or whatever, the chocolate crinkle something. It's like a, like a dark chocolate cookie with powdered sugar on the outside. I like that one, but probably because it tastes like a brownie and I like brownies. But anyway, I'm not a cookie person, but I, turns out I am now. So I made chocolate chip cookies and then I put them in little balls, then I freeze them like this, then I put them in a bag and then I can bake fresh cookies whenever I want them. And they only take like seven minutes to bake and I think fresh cookies is the way to go, personally. Actually, I don't think you knew this. Amanda, my, um, I always forget the wording, cystic fibrosis registered dietitian growing up. Yeah. She, when she was helping us think creatively as we were youngins trying to maintain our weight, she told us to do cookie dough like this. And then, so you can have fresh cookies that are enticing for you to eat. That's so, I guess that's where I got this idea. I love that you had the same person for all your childhood. Yeah. Same dietitian, same nurse, and a couple different doctors growing up. But, um, anyway, I have been in the mood for cookies, so I'm freezing them and, and also baking them because I want cookies. And I also, you might notice I put the chocolate chips on top. I don't mix chocolate chips in the batter because I personally don't want all that chocolate going on. I just want like one or two strategically placed chocolate chips. So like this. Peter, however, requested. I was like, how many chocolate chips do you want in your cookies? And he was like, I want the cookie to be half chocolate. So the other day I did like four on the top and then I shoved more in. Um, so did you approve of that? I did. Yes, he approved. These are the bigger chocolate chips. These are the Ghirardelli ones. So that's a little different. They're, they're bigger and flatter. So yeah. Um, the other thing I did was for some of the dough, I didn't put any chocolate chips on it. I rolled it in brown sugar. It was pretty good. It's kind of like a snickerdoodle. But I sometimes think like, I see say a sugar cookie with the sparkly crystallized sugar on the outside. I see that on a plate and I'm like, oh, I want that. And then I bite into it and I'm like, the cookie is not good at all. The sugar on the outside is the only good part. So then I realized to myself, hey, if I like the cookie dough of Toll House, but I want the sugar on the outside, then just do that. So that's what I did with these. And um, yes, very good. Very good, I tell you. I recommend. But I also did some chocolate chip ones. So um, that's my update. Um, we just got back from swim class and he got a ribbon. Let me grab it, hold on. Peter had 
Elijah in the swim class and he was in there with him and I was just watching. And then another dad and his baby went in as well. So it was just two dads and their babies. And I guess somebody who was working saw the two little babies swimming together. And so Elijah got, I made a new swim buddy today. <laughs> oh, so cute. All right, so anyway, it was sweet. Swim class, um, I felt like there were other things. Oh, I know. I wanted to show what we found at the thrift store. We had fun at the thrift store the other day. What was the other thing? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Um, well, one thing I bought was a new mason jar. Obviously, I've already washed it and it's already growing me a sourdough starter. I mean, I'm using the jar as my sourdough starter jar. Um, I feel like I can see it growing in front of me. So we got, I got that jar and then we got, where is it? We got Elijah two little silver mugs. Oh, they're so cute. Hi guys. They're so cute. They are cute. And the last thing we got. I think they're like double wall espresso mugs. Yeah. Anyways. These little leather shoes, they're bigger. So these, he won't fit in right now but they look brand new, which is awesome. A dollar 49. I thought we can stock up ahead of time. So he'll have them when he grows into them. Do you wanna say hi to the people? Say hi people. Shoes. You like your new shoes? Shoes. <laughs> did you swim, swim, swim today? You did so good. I think I forgot to say that when I'm eating these cookies, they pretty much have to be warm. And also I have to have milk. I am not about to eat a piece of a cookie without a glass of milk, just saying. I'm just putting the, uh, the guidelines out there for how I have to enjoy my cookies. Oh man, did I miss it? Oh, there's more where that came from. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Yeah. 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 I'm gonna... You see Baba? Is that Baba? Hi. <laughs> okay, I was gonna put Harry in his house, but it must have rained, so it's like dripping. He would not like that. So we'll just open the windows, give him a great place to hang out in the sunshine, but not be outside because his house is not available at the moment. Ah, oh, let's get some air. I always go and open the front window as well so we can get some, some air blowing through. Look at this. I just love it. I have children's toys in my house and it makes me so happy. And yes, that's our Christmas tree. Hey, at least Peter took it down. It might still be on the front porch, but it's not up. So that's a victory. Something I did not know before becoming a parent is just how cute the little movements are. Like this song is from library time and he loves it. And he... Shake, shake, shake. That little stuffed animal has like a shaker in it. Ah, he has a um, shaky egg too. When he holds the little egg, so sweet. Just melt. And I, before I was a parent, I wouldn't have known he shook the egg. Like, big deal. But now I'm like, no, it is a big deal. It's so cute. Oh, or the way he claps. Oh. So cute. 
It's so cute. We remark about it every time. Yep. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> do you want to tell them what you did tonight? Okay, I'll show them. Oh, you show them. I do not have permission to show you guys, but I'm going to show you anyway. I heard a lot of giggles down so, here. So, a few people came over tonight, a few mom friends, and I was like, after babies go to bed and dads are home, you guys should come over and we should paint. And we got paint by numbers because we talked about how... We want to be creative, but don't really have the creative energy. At the end of the day, yeah, like after like the baby goes to bed. Come yeah. up with what we want to create. So we ordered this multi-pack of paint by numbers. I've never done a paint by numbers before. And um, yeah, we just painted and chatted and it was really fun. It was fun. That is fun. So, yeah. Peter I'm was upstairs bad. working. I was working, but I heard lots of laughing. Yeah. Which is good to hear. Yeah, it was good. So, and so we put them here to dry. Mm. And we'll have to finish them another time. Because we'd like to get to talking and not painting as quickly as we could. It's fine. It wasn't a... It wasn't like a, um end product goal. The goal was not the, the painting. Mm -hmm. Or... Yeah. The goal was... The process. Yes. That's a good word for today. Enjoy the process of whatever your day looks like today. And as always. I'll see you later. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow Saturday. I have a loaf of bread to bake. <gasps> tomorrow morning is my last Cipro. Nice. Congrats. And I was like coughing up a lot of junk today. So hopefully it'll work itself out. And I won't need any more antibiotics, but we'll see. All right. Good night. Peace out.